So if you've watched any of my other videos on proportions, you know I love me some proportions. Uh, they're just so practical. You can use them in so many ways. Um, and one way we can use proportion, that'd be one way, right, grammar, the thing, uh, is to compare, right? So let's just start back up proportions. Two fractions equaling each other or a ratio set equal to another ratio. And proportions are pretty easy to solve um, in that we can use cross multiplication, right? So B times C is equal to A times D. Whole lot easier with numbers, but that's our basic idea that we can set two ratios equal to each other. As long as we know three out of the four positions, we can solve for the missing piece. So let's go ahead and use this to compare, which is a little bit different than normal. So the state of Ohio has 11.69 million people and the capacity of the OSU football stadium is roughly 104,944. The state of Michigan, that place up north, has 9.99 million people and the capacity of the UM football stadium is roughly 107,601. But if Ohio was proportional to Michigan, in population to football stadium capacity, which would be silly, but just pretend, what should the capacity be of UM's stadium? Now, let me frame this up a little bit. We know what's actually true. It's given in the piece. All four pieces of information are given. But the question, it's kind of like the what if, right? When we're comparing, saying if the capacity of the football stadium was proportional to that of the population of the state, so think about this, Ohio has, you know, almost 2 million more people than Michigan, yet Michigan football stadium is bigger. So if we think about this, if it was proportional, if Ohio has more people, then the football stadium should hold more people. So thinking about this, we would say the Michigan football stadium should be smaller. Okay, now the question is asking, what should that capacity be? So when we're thinking about setting this up, we're comparing Ohio to Michigan, right? These are my two ratios. And we're comparing the population of the state to the capacity of the football stadium. Now, I always recommend when you're playing with these, figure out your unknown first. Because you know all four pieces, you have to use this last sentence to determine the unknown. If Ohio is proportional to Michigan, what should the capacity of the UM stadium? So that's Michigan, Capacity. This is my unknown. Now, the other three we pull in from the problem. Ohio has 11.69 people. Michigan has 9.99 million people. And the Ohio Stadium has 104,944. Now, from here, we can do our cross multiply and divide to solve this. So, we would know, let me just do this over here, 11.69x equals, I'm going to run out of space. I can tell you that right now. 104, uh, 1,048,390.56. Okay, now to solve, we divide both sides by 11.69, population in millions of Ohio, and I get roughly 89,682.68, but because we're talking about the capacity of a stadium, it would be 89,683. Michigan's football stadium should only hold 89,683 people if the football stadium capacity was proportional to the population of the state in comparison with the state of Ohio. Now, why anybody would ever need this or want this is beyond me, but there could be real life situations where this could work or, right, or be important. Just something to think about and an interesting way to do and talk about proportions and how they can be used. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about running, right? So I, I dabble in jogging. Um, and the first statement is actually pretty true. I can run 5.4 miles in 60 minutes. This, yeah, I can do that when I'm at my peak performance, which is not right now, but whatever, shut up. Jesse can run 12 miles in 85 minutes. This is a made up person. I don't know who this is, but we know what I can run. We know what Jesse can do. If I would run a proportional rate to that of Jesse, how many miles would I be able to run in 60 minutes? I know what I can actually do, but what could I do if I was like Jesse? So think about this, right? We're comparing me to Jesse and we're comparing miles to minutes. 
And I'm a big labeler because positioning is important when you're solving for portions. Now, again, my unknown, how many miles would I run? That's my unknown. Me, miles, unknown. I know we're talking about me doing 60 minutes, and we know that Jesse does 12 miles in 85 minutes. So now if we cross multiply, I know that 85x equals 720. I divide both sides by 85 to isolate my variable. And if I ran like Jesse, I would be able to run 8.47 miles in 60 minutes. And I'm telling you right now, I'm never going to train hard enough to do that because deep down I'm a lazy runner and I'm just happy with my slow pace. So it is what it is, own it. But that's how we can use proportions to compare.